Welcome to the Laird Thermal Systems Thermal Wizard product training module for device cooling. This is the first of four product training modules for our advanced thermal management tool that helps design engineers find the optimal solution to their thermal design issues. In this module, you will learn how to use the Thermal Wizard QC slider, device cooling calculator, and the advanced module search. With increasing frequency, engineers of all disciplines need assistance in solving their heat dissipation or critical thermal management problems. If you need a thermal wizard, or if you are that thermal wizard that coworkers count on, then you are familiar with the design challenges related to thermal management problems. They include selecting the right thermal management solution to meet specified or unknown cooling requirements, or QC, or developing trial designs to solve what-if scenarios and knowing when to engage with a thermal solutions vendor to prototype custom configurations. Laird Thermal Systems has developed the Thermal Wizard to solve all these issues. It is designed to help engineers quickly determine the optimum cooling solution based on their cooling requirement. Whether your application requires a thermoelectric cooler, thermoelectric cooler assembly, or liquid cooling system, the Thermal Wizard is a web-based specification and selection tool that links product search to thermal calculators to product availability. It is available on any web browser and on any computing platform, PC, Mac, iPhone, Android, running a web browser. If you know your heat load or desired cooling requirement, you can use the QC slider. This has two major outputs the actual QC requirement and the delta T that your application requires. The delta T is the amount of temperature difference that the thermoelectric device is going to have to pull heat through. In this example, we will work with a QC requirement of 10 watts with a delta T of 20 degrees C. Our delta T requirement will be a 20 degrees C temperature change from the hot side to the cold side. Since we are at the module level, we want to account for the heat sinking that is on the hot and cold side. If you are dealing with an air-to-air -air application, you will have two similar heat sinks. If you are dealing with a cold plate, for example, where you are cooling a device, you will have some interface resistance on one side and the heat sinking to air on the other side. So, depending on that, a good rule of thumb to start with is 10 degrees C on both sides. That will increase our delta T requirement from 20 degrees C to 40 degrees C. This adjustment is the critical difference between how to select a thermoelectric cooler versus how to select a thermoelectric cooler assembly. An assembly already has the thermal resistance figured into the delta T. So now we must change the delta T to 40 degrees. Now hit search and the results will appear below. The selection of 10 watts and 40 degrees C delta T will produce a number of thermoelectric coolers and a few assemblies. With the options we have, the Thermal Wizard will show you all the thermoelectric coolers available that meet these requirements. We will ignore the assemblies options for now since we are looking for a space efficient module. We will choose the CP10-127-06 as our example. Next, we will click this part number and access the active data sheet. If we need samples for engineering evaluation, we can check stock by clicking the check availability button. So, how do we take this general requirement and make it more specific to fit our application. First, we verify that the mechanical layout of the part is correct for our application. Then we can turn to correcting the thermal requirements we will use in our application. The first thing we can do is to set our delta T of 20 degrees C and use 0.25 degrees C per watt as our hot thermal resistance. The cold side thermal resistance tends to be a little higher mainly due to a smaller temperature difference. So we will set this to 0.5 degrees C and click update to see the new performance. With our actual requirements specified, 
we can now look how voltage level impacts performance. So if our operating voltage is 12 volts, we can see that we get 12 watts of cooling. If we drop the voltage to 9 volts, we will still meet the cooling requirement of 10 watts. This means that you have the option of operating this part anywhere from 9 all the way up to 12 volts. Now, if you operate at a 9 volt level, you will have a higher COP, coefficient of performance, which is the efficiency of the operating module. As you can see, the COP at 9 volts is 0.6. When moving the slider to 12 volts, we can see that our COP drops to 0.41. So how does that impact your system? If you can operate at a 9 volt level, then your power dissipated is going to be less and you will have a more efficient solution. If you do not know the cooling requirement for your application, the Thermal Wizard provides four calculators, device cooling, enclosure cooling, air cooling, and liquid cooling each with pre-programmed examples to help you define the QC value and quickly get your design underway. This product training module will focus on the device cooling calculator. In this example, we will use the device cooling calculator to determine the QC requirement for an application cooling a medical laser. To save time inputting a number of parameters, click on one of the existing examples. The medical laser example calculates that we have an active dissipation, voltage times our current, of 19.2 watts. In our application, we will work with a smaller 6 watt laser. All other values will be used to calculate the passive load. Our active load is 6 watts, and we will also have a passive load created by the ambient conditions. Looking at the dimensions, we will have a 20 millimeter length by 20 millimeter width with a 10 millimeter height and no insulation. This application will be cooled from an ambient temperature of 35 degrees C and we want to maintain a 10 degrees C internal temperature. Insulation type is irrelevant because we are not using any insulation and we are going to use aluminum as the basic device property. As we have been changing all these requirements, the cooling requirements have been changing in the calculation results. We can see that our passive cooling load is 0.43 watts. Our active cooling load is what we have entered at 6 watts, which results in a total requirement of 6.43 watts. The minutes to cool is a way of describing the transient cooling requirements. If there is a need for fast cooling, the transient increases the specification. The steady state is still greater than the transient when cooling in one second or one minute, but if we drop it to less than a minute, our transient will dominate our specification. So let's set this to two minutes and do a search. This search produces two Peltier coolers that are available at these specifications. We can look at the different dimensions to see which one would best fit our application. Due to the space constraints of this application, we will ignore the assemblies below that were also results of the search. If either of these do not fit mechanically, we can go back to the QC slider to find the optimal solution by increasing either the QC specification or the delta T that is generated. The advanced module search is the ideal place to start when you need to determine the QC requirement with a delta T requirement and account for the thermal resistance on either the hot side or cold side. You can find the advanced search by clicking on the specify search and select thermoelectric coolers on the thermoelectric coolers page. As mentioned before, when dealing with thermoelectric coolers, we need to account for the thermal resistance on either hot or cold side. In our cooling medical laser example, we are using a delta T of 25 degrees C. So let's put a slightly higher cooling capacity, 6.5 watts, instead of 6 watts. For ambient, we had 35 degrees C and a control temperature of 20 degrees C. The hot side thermal resistance will be 0.8 and the cold side 0.25. We can add any specific voltage requirements, in this case, 
a 5 volt system. Click Search. This shows us a number of thermoelectric coolers that meet our QC requirements, voltage requirements, and have the hot and cold side thermal resistances taken care of. These are all good choices. However, the one closest is the CP10-6306. Once you've made your selection, you can click the Buy Now button and verify the availability. In summary, the Thermal Wizard is an advanced thermal management tool that helps determine the optimum cooling solution based on your application requirements. When you don't know your cooling requirement, the Thermal Wizard's QC calculators provide pre-programmed examples for different applications. See Thermal Wizard Training Module 2 for enclosure cooling, Training Module number 3 for air cooling, Training Module number 4 for liquid cooling. The Thermal Wizard not only provides standard solutions, it will also determine when you may need to engage a thermal solution expert to customize a thermal solution.